AI is making so many cool things in such a short period of time. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to make these cool and creative characters that you see behind me right now. To make this happen, we're going to use a very cool prompt. For hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. And then you're going to use that prompt in any of your favorite AI generating image tools. For example, today we'll be using Midjourney. And speaking of prompts, big kudos and thanks to the actual creator of this prompt and these tips I'm sharing with you today. I'll add that into the description description as well. And the best part is, is that creating all of these only takes just a few minutes. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and get right to it. So you can see on my screen right here, I'm actually on Mid Journey right now. And as you can see, the Mid Journey page does have a little bit of a different look. Look at the very top. You could see to where it says coming soon, imagine. So I can't wait to try this out because this might mean that this could be the beginning of the end for only having to use Discord. So nonetheless, on my page right here, you can see some of the images I was able to create with this prompt and it's pretty cool. I gotta say so myself. Look at this one right here and I'll show you exactly how to create these images yourself. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. So now let's just go ahead and go over to Mid Journey. But before we do that, we need to know exactly what prompt we're gonna use. And for that, let's go ahead and go over to my website. I'll actually share this link in my description to my website right here. I actually have hundreds of prompts on this site for you guys to use and try for yourself. Scroll down and on this page right here, that I'll include a link in my description, it will be under featured on YouTube. And so this page right here is specifically for prompt generators. However, there will be a few small exceptions, especially for really good prompts like the one I'm sharing with you today. So in this case, we're gonna go to this one right here underneath featured on YouTube, and this one's called animated character prompt. I didn't even try to pronounce that first word. I don't know if that's kibi or chibi, whatever. So. Now, all you have to do is just go ahead and click to expand this prompt, just like so. Copy everything that's in here. Let's head back over to Midjourney. Now that we have our prompt, now let's just come on down here and now hit that imagine command. And then once that's up, paste that prompt in that we were just using. Okay, so now at the bottom of my screen, you can see it has the whole entire prompt. What you wanna do is replace whatever is in the bracketed text. In this case, it says subject. Replace that with your own. And so what I've been doing is using some superhero Marvel type characters. And so in this case, go ahead and then remove the subject with a different subject of your own. So let's go ahead and try a few different variations and then we'll choose the one that we think looks best. I'll put Marvel character Hulk for this one. Go ahead and hit enter. While that's thinking and generating, let's just go ahead and do a few more of these. That way we can knock them all out and look at all these at the same time. Okay, now I went ahead and generated a few. <laughs> now check this one out right here. All I did was just enter Deadpool as my subject. Now this looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and then just upscale a few of these next. And so I'm gonna go ahead and then upscale the second one, actually the second, third, and fourth. And that's important to do. So anytime you find one that you like, make sure you go ahead and upscale it if you are using Midjourney. Let's go back over to my generations over here and look at the other ones we made. Okay, now this is pretty cool. This one turned out pretty well. I think for this one, I'll go ahead and then just upscale the second one. And now this one for Wonder Woman turned out pretty well too. Check these out. So let's go ahead and upscale the second one and then we'll go ahead and upscale the fourth one. And so as we head back over to Mid Journey, I actually like to download my products from here instead. So this is pretty cool. I can go ahead and click this button on the top right hand side and then just make sure I have upscale selected. That way it's going to ensure that I'll only be downloading the upscaled variations of it. So let's go ahead and start downloading the ones that we chose. So to do that, you just click on it, those three dots, and then hit download. Okay, so over here on my screen right here, you could see all of the ones I've been downloading today. And I got to tell you, so far, so good. In fact, let me just show you this one right here I made. That's pretty cool too. I did a baby Santa Claus. And so these prompts do make some very cool looking images. And so while well, I'm not using all these today, but just to give you guys somewhat of a sample size, look at some of the things it made. It's pretty cool. And so now that we have our options chosen, the next thing we'll do is now head over to Runway ML. Now, if you're not familiar with Runway ML, you can see it on my screen right here. This is a great product. In fact, I've been using the free option up until now. And so for today, I actually had to go ahead and upgrade my account because I guess the demand has been so high that they were only allowing animations to be created, for now at least, on paid plans. So you can see over here, basic forever free plan, you would get 125 credits and you would get Gen 1 video and then Gen 2 up to 4 seconds, up to 16 seconds, and that was more than enough. So we'll see. Try it for yourself and see if this works for you today. If not, I do recommend at least trying the standard plan just to try some of these things out. When you land over here on the dashboard of Runway ML after you're logged in, all you have to do now is simply just select one button and you can see it right here. It just says start with image. Go ahead and then just select start with image for what we're doing today. Once that's the case, now just upload your image by simply 
clicking the upload file or what I like to do is just simply click and drag it right here within this window. So with that said, let's go ahead and click and drag our first one. So we'll come over here and you can see I got the Hulk one coming in here. I'll drag the Hulk one. And for now, don't even worry about using image plus description. You can just continue with it being on image and then just go ahead and select generate. Now you can see here it takes you to this page right here. It's going to take a few seconds, about a minute or two. But once that's done, you can go ahead and then start your second one. And that's exactly what we'll do. We'll make three of these. And then I'll show you how to make them even more animated. Okay, this is awesome. This is actually much better than I thought. Look at the screen right here. You could see the one it made for my Hulk one right here. That's amazing. He's coming down and he's like flexing, breaking out those muscles. It's like Runway knew exactly what the Hulk was. Because look at the way his muscles are expanding and flexing. Perfect. And so if this is good and you like this, all you have to do now is simply just hit this download button right here. Okay? Not only that, you can also extend it to four seconds or then just share it directly. Go ahead and then hit that download button and then it'll pop up and then it will actually appear in your downloads and it's ready for you to use. Okay, so now that we have four, even though I said I'll do three, I actually did four because one of them didn't really turn out so well, but I'll show you all four nonetheless. So look at this screen right here. I'll start with this Deadpool one. This looks pretty cool. I like the way it moves, the background, how that changes. Very good job. We already saw the Hulk one. I think that's going to be my favorite one so far. Top right hand corner, Wonder Woman. It did a good job, except the only thing that really moves in Wonder Woman is just going to be the background itself. She He's sort of just too still. But then on the bottom right hand corner, this little boy for Christmas, I really like that one a lot too. And so I think I'll use all of these for the next part just to kind of show you how to speed these up a little bit and blend them all together. And so the next thing you can do is then just use your favorite video editing tool. Now for this video, I'm actually using Final Cut Pro, but you could use anything. You could use Adobe Premiere. You could use any other app of your choice, even mobile apps or even apps like CapCut, or you can even use the Canva video editor. Nonetheless, all you need to do is have a video app that you can just simply speed up the clips or maybe reverse them a little bit. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So I'm over here on my screen right here. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and then just click and drag the video clips I just showed you directly within my timeline. Okay, so now I have everything brought over to Final Cut Pro and on my screen you can see right here that if I let it play on my screen it just shows all the clips and it does look pretty good. But what I found very helpful is if I take all these clips right here and I speed them up by double, it's going to actually make it look much better. So I'll go ahead and speed up the clips by double. And now let's go ahead and then watch this. Now that looks pretty good. Look at this. Now they're sped up. And then I know it doesn't make sense to have Christmas and a fox. I actually forgot to show you this one all jumbled together, but you got it. If I wanted to make this more of like a superhero related one, we could do that. But I actually did forget to show you this fox one and it actually did work out pretty well. This fox one did a great job because I feel like everything is moving the fox and even the background itself so once you're done and you have everything in here and everything sped up there is one more thing you can do so on my screen right here let's just say for example I have this Hulk one I'm gonna go ahead and then duplicate this Hulk one so I'll have two of them back to back that are similar in speed and look but this time I'm gonna come over here onto the Hulk one and I'm gonna go ahead and then reverse the clip so now when I play it look on my screen right here you can see it goes from the beginning and then now it's gonna kind of goes backwards and so I feel like that's pretty cool once you can do it like that. And so you could do that for any of them by speeding up the clip and then reversing each clip. And now when we want to watch it, let's go ahead and expand it. You could see the final product does look pretty good. And then here we go with Deadpool and then he's going back down. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, there's a link in my description to access these prompts as well as the X handle of the creator of the prompt and where I got these tips from. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.